Unforgiven, I'm a villain. <laughs> the Filipinos would be fucked on that song. There's too many F's and V's. Coming for you in the bus lane I'm in the right, not my guys ain't But the paddle is a little bit of hit that off You pull up in a Lambo <laughs> Shut the f- We have a live studio audience today Picture of the live studio audience People are gonna be like, you film this in your bedroom? Do we look like we yeah, have money? Yeah, give us, give us the money Where did this money go? To this $80 tissue paper shirt <laughs> And this $60 tissue paper shirt you pull up and happy summer stinks. Happy summer, you bitch. Happy grad to everyone that graded. Yeah. We'll get into it, but. <laughs> I'm Alcheska. And I'm the 2023 Boys Planet Global Center that twerked on the winner's chair. Clarence <laughs> Angelo. And today we're talking about talent. talent. My. Mother boots. So literally everything that has to do with talent shows talent such as singing. Yeah, singing, dancing, dancing twerking. twerking. Oh no. We we got boba this time. Shall we? We, we shall. shall. I got milkies all over. my dog everyone say hi charlie hi charlie you're a fucking bitch don't fucking say hi to me okay what are we eating today we're eating poke poke happy summer oh i forgot i need to roll up my sleeves this arm is so gay <laughs> how's the new logo guys everyone say thank you bianca bianca is my cousin thanks name. ate bianca thank everyone comment thanks ate bianca Talent. Okay, but, speaking of talent. Okay, I got salmon, ahi, and spicy tuna. Okay. I got ahi tuna, albacore, and shrimpies. Cheers! Oh shit. Oh. We're talking about talent today. Yeah. How you been? I've been good. I'm graduated, you guys! Ah! She's graduated. I'm graduated uh, finally. Holy fuck. Mother. Anyway, who's hiring? I went to a graduation with her family. Mm -hmm. So fun. <laughs> So weird. Weird. If you go to UT or went to UT and saw the 2023 commencement speaker, speaker, he had like mommy issues uh -huh. or some shit. He went off on this like tangent about how he loves his mom, but then it was like, you know, when someone loves their mom too much. Yeah. It's like ooh. It's a mama's boy for sure. Mm -hmm. No question. I'm going to the motherland. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the motherland. Hell. <laughs> I'm going back to the Philippines. But you're going with friends. Mm hmm I'm stopping in Japan for three days. Okay. Here's how, here's what happened. My friends were like, oh, I'm going to the Philippines with my family of like 30 fucking people. Mm. And then one of my friends like jokingly said, can I come? Yeah. He was like, actually, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. And then all my friends were like, dude, I'm going to be in the Philippines during that time too. Oh. And my other friends were like, wait, I'm going to be in the Philippines during that time too. Just so happened there was already four people who were going to be in the Philippines together. Mm -hmm. And that's rare. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how hard it is to get people to travel to like, you know, go downtown for the weekend. Yeah. Like imagine. That is rare. Going across the the fucking globe and i was like shit that's like two thousand dollars you know whatever no but it's an experience no and that was my logic my friends are like most of them are older than me and i was like people don't go to the philippines every year unless you're rich yeah you don't go often because mm -hmm. it costs a lot of money and like you're going because you're gonna go see family and like that takes coordination and family is always messy yeah like, i was like when will this ever happen again it's always been my dream to go to asia with friends yeah just so happens, it's literally falling in my lap right now. If I don't go now, when they go back in five years, they're going to have kids. They're going to mm -hmm. be going for family mm -hmm. as a family vacation, not a friend's stupid go fucking crazy vacation. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's so fun. I'm excited. And last, last update is yesterday I went to our high school. Why? I went for a band concert. What the hell? I walked into that school and I immediately heard a, a slur. I went back because my band director, Yeah. It was he's retiring. <gasps> wait, wait. So is yours. Yeah. He is. Oh, you're you're a better student than me. I didn't go to his last concert. The trombone was my shit back oh, then. Oh yeah. Oh I yeah. I made that thing my whole life. If I could have done a talent show, I would have probably done the trombone. Did you do the talent show? <laughs> did you do the talent show at our high school? No. Mm -mm. You did. No. You would be bold to do it at our high school. I would never. Ugh. I did the talent show in fourth and fifth grade. Fourth grade, I was dancing to Solo by Ayaz, and fifth grade, I was dancing to. 
Bottles pop until we can't stand. I have the video. Oh my god, I'm gonna oh die. Oh my god! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna okay. die. Which one's me? You that one. Which one? Right there in the vest. <laughs> Oh my god, come on, Poriotix! Poriotix, Java Walkies! You see the finger light? Yes! I know y'all won that shit in the claw machine. I can't, I can't, I'll just I can't. Okay, then don't watch it. You're so cute. I'll just guy, I, this is this is worse than the oh electric chair. Oh my god, close up! Oh, come on, dancing to Nikki. They knew who you were. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds left. Oh, who made the mix? Me! <laughs> I love how everyone's looking at you. Come on, Talon! Come on, Lisa! <laughs> Ending fairy. <laughs> Ending fairy. Oh, I know y'all just added the bitch on the right. Oh, no question. His name is Pele. <laughs> that was the first TXT. Come Ran. on, Unikai! <laughs> that walk tripped and fell over a shoelace, so he <laughs> So TXT could not do that. <laughs> I was a fruity one in that. Come on, young dude. <laughs> Here's where it's bad. Why? I was actually what? trying to find the full video. Okay. Wait, what? That's not a full video? Something happened after this. <laughs> this is unpacking something that is like Trauma. deep down oh my in, God. in my stress. Why would you do that on the internet? It is so fucking embarrassing what? at the end of this. With how little that was giving. I was giving Stop. nothing. No. My fourth the, grade was giving. But no, bitch. One, my favorite move you did when, Nick, m when Nicki Minaj said hot pink wheels. <laughs> bitch. At the end of... Okay. <laughs> oh Wait, God. what the fuck? That was my fifth grade talent show. In fourth grade, I was at the top. Me and the other girl were at the top of it. So I went into the fifth grade one like I was the shit. Yeah. You know? Oh, like you guys won the fourth grade one. Basically. The fifth grade one, I was like, I'm the shit. I'm going to win this one too. Yeah, like, yeah, We didn't. Yeah. But like... Uh-huh. So at the end of this, what? I grabbed the mic. Oh no. I grabbed the mic. Oh my god. Oh my god. I go, can I hear the kids make some noise? <laughs> no. And then I go, parents, how about you? <laughs> I'm just because it's not funny to me. This actually makes me want to die. I go, I can't hear you. What the fuck? <laughs> What Girl, the fuck? This isn't a fucking Philippines reality show. I said, Coachella, how y'all feeling? <laughs> parents, how y'all? Cricket. <laughs> Radio silence. No, the full video was like, parents, how y'all? And they're like, uh. <laughs> and I went to a fucking Filipino dominated school, so those bitches were talking about me afterwards. Like, oh, they're talking about it today, girl. I know someone in the comments is gonna be like, oh, that was you? <laughs> See, that would be cute if I was an idol today. It would have been cute if you won the talent show. I want to die that I said that. <laughs> I know the MC was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that is like one of my like talent show things that I will just never let surface mm -hmm. the fucking internet. Talent shows, whatever. Is there a time where you had to showcase your talent and it went fucking south? Of course there is. We were, we were raised on talent shows, girl. <laughs> I've been doing talent shows, whether it been, ew, that makes me sound like I'm in fucking toddlers and tiaras, but. I've been in talent shows. I've been in talent shows since I was three. Literally. I started singing when I came out of the virginity. No, literally. So it was my first time, like <laughs> solo ever, ever, bitch. And it was the sixth grade choir show. We knew each other in middle school, so it was the sixth grade choir show. So the choir show always has a, has a theme. Mm -hmm. You know what ours was? What? Glee. <laughs> You're fucking lying. No, bitch. That, that yeah. makes so much fucking sense. What the fuck? What were they doing with Glee as Stop. the theme? Hold okay. on. <laughs> Glee is like not, not like at all. No, okay. okay. Okay, so the original plan for me and I guess every fucking sixth grader. Who are you, Kurt? Stop. Yeah. So I wanted to get the duet with the boy that I liked. Yeah. I auditioned with him. So I was like, <laughs> neither of us got it. <laughs> I was about to leave until oh. my fucking best friend was this I feel like was a little bit like a stretch or like a Hannah Montana moment because she picked up the fucking music sheet and was like Alcheska this is perfect for you girl we couldn't read music <laughs> this one's perfect for you I don't know what it says this is perfect for you it's the male's part <laughs> and so she was like you have to audition it and so I like I was like no I can't and I was staying back while everyone else was like auditioning for the duet until the last person went and then there was only me and this other girl so I look at the music sheet girl do you know what song it was <laughs> oh no <laughs> 
Oh God. Um, Gangnam Style. No. <laughs> For all the Gleeks out there, it was this song that um, Finn sang to his baby sonogram. <laughs> the child that Which wasn't one? even his. <laughs> Wait, what was it? What was the it? Fucking, I'll stand by, by you. <laughs> I had never heard the song before. I hadn't even gotten to that point in Glee. Yeah. Sorry. The choir directors did not watch Glee. No, they didn't. <laughs> They're like, this one probably was didn't. a ballad for sure. They probably went on Spotify or like fucking Pandora was like, okay, Glee songs. <laughs> Pandora. <laughs> they were on Vine and looked up hashtag Glee. <laughs> Come back a couple days later, looking at the cast list. Girl, my name's at the top of the ah! list. Ah! So I got the solo. <laughs> Beat the other bitch so out. So she'll stand by you. I'll, I'll stand by you, thank you. <laughs> I told my dad that I got the solo, and he was like, I don't even know you auditioned, but training starts today. <laughs> People are gonna think your dad is like Simon Cowell. No, he, it's cause he is. I was running drills. This mm -hmm. man had me coming home from school. I'll stand by you. <laughs> On the treadmill, going full no, fucking in the speed. pool, and like he was like, okay, like I want you to, to um, like in, like do like hand gestures, and so he was like, he would like stand in different places in front of me and be like, I want you to make eye contact with me here, and I'm gonna move over here, and you make eye contact with me here. Oh and wow! I, was like, oh. I know. The day of the performance, I go up there and I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> Like, I'm doing everything that my dad said, like the hand gestures and like the eye contact. The hand gestures. <laughs> the hand gestures, yeah, and the eye contact with everyone. And then I'm like halfway through the song and then the music stops. <laughs> the track just fucking stops. Shits itself. No, it stops. Like I thought someone went and <laughs> stopped it. So, Cause I was like. Can you look over? Sue Sylvester. <laughs> The Cheerios. <laughs> and so we're on this like rinky dink like fucking speaker that's been there for like 10 years. And of course that shit stops. And so I'm like, why did you just like smack it? <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Did you just like fuck shit? <laughs> fucking curse. Like, and bro. my dad at the same time was like, what the fuck? That white ass choir director was like, fucking shit, <laughs> racial slur, <laughs> fuck shit. And you're like, I'll stand, I'll stand, I'll stand. <laughs> no, I should have done that. I should have kept going. I should have just done an acapella moment or something, but instead- Music stops. My <laughs> I was frozen because after me doing all these fucking drills, my dad didn't prepare me for the music yeah, to you're stop. like, dad, why didn't you tell me that- my... I make yeah. eye contact with him and I'm like, <laughs> And the audience thinks that this shit is over. Either they're like, okay, it's over, we should be done clapping, or they're like, thank God. And so my choir director's just like, <laughs> she's like, she's like, I can't believe that's like, how your first solo she's went. Like, exit, exit. And I'm like, okay. I exit, <laughs> I exit the fucking stage. Then I start crying. <laughs> I think I was like, this is so embarrassing for me. I also when it's really not, but like I get it. Yeah, because it, it, it was my first performance no. ever, and my dad. Getting a solo, terrifying. No, because I'm like everything needs to go right. And I was like, they ate me. I thought everyone was mad at me, even though nothing was my fault. My ass would have been like, this school's racist. <laughs> I've never watched a Glee. Was there only one solo? Yeah. Come on, girl. Thank you. You put, you do remind me of Rachel Berry. That's a read. <laughs> My choir directors like pulled me off and they were like, what Pierce face? Pulled You're going back on there. Oh. And so they like let me redo it again, mm. which was really nice. Either they they let me redo it or my dad went up to them and was like, you need to let my daughter on the stage again. <laughs> yeah, that's cute and you nailed it. But yeah, nailed it. The sure. White, the white dads in the back were like, sure. yo. Oh, if there's one thing about fucking Filipino parents, mm. their expectation is you become a superstar. Oh yeah. Like for example, like my half brother, me and him mm -hmm. were talking, and he was like, my brother is tall. Mm -hmm. And they were like, you're going to be a basketball player. You will be in the NBA. You and where is he now? Not. <laughs> oh, they're going to say, and he is. In... And who is he now? Now, he's Jackson Wang. <laughs> <laughs> Engineer, doctor, dentist, whatever. But, but you if... will be. He was like, but if you get to be on The Voice, forget all of that shit. We're training again. I don't know if I told you this. I auditioned to become an actor. Yeah. As a kid. Yeah, you did. Expand. I got into a cornflakes commercial. No. 
I got into a Frosted Flakes commercial. Mm -hmm. I was auditioning Did for it the, air. I was the, okay. This is so funny. I don't know if this is like against the law to be saying this, but it's well over. There was gonna be a Shark Boy and Lava Girl two. Oh wow! And and Shark Boy was gonna have a friend. No way. You auditioned. For and the I friend. auditioned for that role. Wow! And then I was considered into the next one because mm -hmm. if you made. Uh, Okay. If you made the Frosted Flakes commercial, that means you moved on to the next round. Interesting. So then I made this Frosted Flakes commercial. I have no fucking idea where that shit is. Mm -hmm. I was nowhere near the tiger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the tiger was a green man. <laughs> I don't know where that shit is. I was nowhere near the tiger. <laughs> Bitch, they pushed you to the side. You know what got me in? Mm. I remember. Mm. Bald ass white man. Mm. Creep as fuck. Yeah. He was like, oh, his dimples are cute. And that's what got me to the next round. I probably shit on that audition. <laughs> I could have been married to Taylor Lautner and had babies with Taylor Lautner. That's so fucking funny that you were like, he I was, was on the side. Boy. And who was next to the tiger? Selena Gomez. Yes. <laughs> You're, you were more into dancing as a kid. Or Hell what? yeah. Okay, because I was more, I was pushed into singing. Filipino Push kid. is an understatement for you, bitch. Yeah. Shoved with <laughs> both feet. <laughs> Sky <-dose>. Drowned. <laughs> Yeah, girl, I was waterboarded <laughs> into singing. But, but if you were more into dancing, did you have to do like, f did you still have to do Filipino karaoke? I just wanted to know. I would grab the mic and be that like, was my question. kids, let me hear you make some noise. <laughs> Parents, let me hear you make some noise. I, I grabbed that mic. That was my question. I, was, I was like, like, wait, I have another one I want to do. I want, I want to shut. If that kid was in the karaoke room today, I would be like, I would, I would look the at the pair and be like, you know, abortion's a thing. No, I'd be like, you raised the fuck. <laughs> I was hiding from the mic. Were you playing hiding from the mic? No, girl, I was in the bathroom. You know the bitches that play hiding the mic? Yeah. They're like, I don't want to sing, I don't want to yeah. sing. Yeah. Just one. And they're like, oh, fine. And then they're, they're like, they're which like, one do you want to do? And they're like, my heart will go on. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did not like getting the mic, but sometimes I would be like, oh, I don't want to listen. <laughs> did Titas and Titos give you money after you singing? No. Because I heard that some of y'all got money. Wait, bitch, we were poor. I uh, was <laughs> My mom's from a village and your mom's from a village too. Isn't that fucking crazy? I cracked a note and I got spanked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know those like Filipino POVs, you're at a you're at a Filipino party. And then people were like, oh, I'll give you money if you sing. If what the fuck? If if that was my childhood, I'd be racking. If I knew that. You could get money from that. I would never let go of the mic. Are I would have fucking picked you up today in a fucking Tessie. <laughs> Paid in cash. Paid in cash. <laughs> Red envelope. <laughs> also, what the fuck? People mm. actually got money from the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> I lifted up my pillow and I saw my mom's hand under it going like this. <laughs> you lifted up the pillow and you saw her, her hand with one penny in it. <laughs> <laughs> She's asking you for money. She's. <laughs> It was a fucking money order. <laughs> okay, last thing before Asians answer. You know how this goes. Yeah. Today's presentation Can is called Tell me what open. Open. This or that stink shit. What, what the? Fuck? Yes or yes. <laughs> oh my god. This or that. Yes or yes. In this game, you choose between two talents, both of which are commonly found to be riskful. Riskful. <laughs> Choose wisely or you'll end up with a piece of shit. Okay. So it's basically this or that, different talents. Okay. Ready? First one. Yeah. Can sing. <laughs> Ready? If it is it can dance. Can dance. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be jail. <laughs> What's more attractive? Oh! One, two, three, can sing. sing. Logic. Dancers are red flags. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know why dancers are red flags? Mm. They're confident. <laughs> Confidence is great. Yeah. There, you can but argue, can you shut the but it's, but no. I love an insecure singer. Yes! <gasps> yes! I was joking. Oh. <laughs> I was actually joking, bitch. You're like, I love what he needs therapy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I love a, a singer that's like, no. <laughs> no, I can't sing. She's my sunshine. <laughs> but if they can do both, they're probably getting <laughs> Or... Can art? Wait, <laughs> that looks like it that was looks taken like in high Ryan Higa. <laughs> Girl, that looks like you in high school. I, I fucked it by putting Hyunjin right here. Can this bitch even draw? 
Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. I've seen it. I've seen... Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, hey, Can stays, he draw? Stays, Can he draw? Stays. He grabs that paintbrush, puts it on the canvas, gives it to me. I lick the canvas. He has to paint it again. That's a fucking insane thing to Van say. Van Gogh, bitch. That is... Van Gogh inside my... I knew it. On three. <laughs> On <Cook>. three, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> is it actually cooked? Yeah. Mine is too. <laughs> I find cuteness in like when someone like draws you something, but it's bad, but they give it yeah. to you. I find it cute if someone draws a butterfly right here and yeah. says that they've never done it on anyone else and calls me Nobby. Think. Your throat just queefed. Next slide. A guy who has fashion sense that's like more than just whatever. Like, okay. like you know what I'm saying. Like he walks into a cafe, you're like, mm, that outfit's hot. Yes, yes, yes. He has an apartment that's like, ooh. Hmm. One, two, three, apartment. <clears throat> okay, here's my logic. Actually, yeah. you go first. Actually, okay. Okay, here's my logic. Fashion, I feel like we can like, like if he already has his fashion figured out, then I'm like, okay, Slate, that's you. But if his apartment isn't figured out, then we can do that together. And like, we can like go on Pinterest together. I generally think they're almost 50-50. No, yeah. Because my logic is kind of the opposite. Okay, okay. But it's like the same exact logic. Really? Like, I'm, I could look at someone and be like, oh, it's okay. Oh, let's, let's, let's figure this out. Okay, okay. With their fashion. Mm -hmm. And that's hot because I can take off their clothes. Ah! <laughs> if I walk into their fucking apartment and I see fucking camping chairs. <laughs> I went to a white people's school. Oh no. I swear to God, I would walk into some oh, of like, the no. people in my business fraternities. I was like, why? Why Why do you have an inflatable couch? Three and months. then why do you just have a mattress on the floor? And why is there a dead person on the ground? <laughs> Multilingual. Oh, polyglot, bitch. You know what polyglot is? A Pokemon? No, girl. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, or this one is plays an instrument why is it so big this one had to be small <laughs> multilingual yep yeah it's like it says so much about you oh my god this is when it gets real specific Whoa. memorize the periodic table and lets everyone know about it Ew. <laughs> or says the glee version of <laughs> Welcome back from the break. <laughs> this part of the podcast is a segment that we like to call Asian's Answer. Answer. Yeah. In this part of the podcast, you know. <laughs> okay, first question. What do you do when someone thinks they're good at singing but is actually shit? <laughs> do you either hype them up, let them be the Lulu, tell them they're actually ass, or address it with humor by saying, damn, that shit was ass. <laughs> Okay, in the karaoke place, I hype them up. Because for you to get on that karaoke machine, it takes balls. Yeah. Right? Sure. So then if you're going to get up there and absolutely break every piece of glass in the audience. Yeah, then I'm going to be like, Slay, like, Slay girl. Yeah. If they're hogging the karaoke machine and they don't it, and they don't sound like it. I don't, I'm not mean. Oh, I am. But I say something like, I'm going to go grab a drink. Like, I, yeah, like, I leave. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I'm going to go grab a drink. Um, Anyone want anything? Mm -hmm. Earplugs, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Keys to the car. <laughs> The check. <laughs> Do you find those like idol talent reels to be cringe? Okay, for example, like, compilations of like idols talking to the cameraman as if the camera was like, <laughs> was like their like the girlfriend or their boyfriend. I'm actually confused. What are you asking? Like, do you, I'm just asking if you think like ma people when making like, those are like I'm your cringe. boyfriend, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you consider like that shit a talent? No, that's not a talent. <laughs> Wait, that's not a talent at all, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> it's we like, could do that. <laughs> no, it's a talent to not laugh during it because <laughs> you're so talking about. There's, no, there's if you were getting paid. <laughs> And you knew you were getting paid because you're an idol because you're hot and you can kind of sing and you can dance. And then you're like, oh, turn it on, act like a boyfriend. Easy. No. You know Hey Chan from N NCT? So, <laughs> one of those like... 
in one of those like video calls there was like a compilation of this one fan who was wearing a veil and then <laughs> she told him to like <laughs> no she did not she had to like unveil what did the... he do he did it a check is a check <laughs> he did it i'm pretty sure he did bitch if that was kyo <laughs> That I was just know either of as us. Soon, I'd be like, "Are you fucking crazy?" As, as soon as the video started for Kiho, as soon as the as he joined the call, he would have been like, "What, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Give her our money back! What the fuck?" Yeah, you lift up my veil. Did we get that bank transfer? <laughs> that I think is a talent. My favorite thing is when Jin has to do egg and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Wait, I have an egg yolk question on here. <laughs> It's just thoughts on egg yolk. <laughs> like having to put up that kind of ad. Natural egg yolk is cute. Like what? Jimin. Girl! You like gin. Okay! You like egg yolk. <laughs> Stop acting like you don't like egg yolk. I swear to God, I'm gonna look up gin right now. The f One of the first 10 Do pictures it. is gonna be egg Do yolk. Do it. No, 10 is too much. Give me, give me like six. Oh lord. <laughs> Would you rather be the best on a losing team or the worst on a winning team? Best on a losing team or the worst the worst on, worst on, a, on a losing team. Wait, what? Worst on a losing team. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I go butter the total hole. <laughs> worst on a winning team for sure. Por qué? I think you could just learn. Period. Yeah. That's what I think too. What is the <laughs> What is the most down bad you've ever been for someone's cringy talent? When I was in middle school. Oh God. <laughs> Doing like a little science project, I think I was like, we were like looking for bugs or something. And then in the middle of it, he just starts doing backflips. <laughs> that is so- Just on the ground. That is so middle school. <laughs> I know, but why was I like- We were dissecting a frog and all of a sudden I looked over, he was a frog. <laughs> <laughs> but why was I- <laughs> For a backflip. Multiple. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What? Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I saw someone do a Rubik's Cube and I was like, Ugh! How? <laughs> 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 Who are idols whose vocal talent really stands out to you? Oh my god, Jungkook I- Jungkook, for me. I DK, know, uh, 17. DK! <laughs> DK's on there. He sung's on there. Okay. Gonna change my answering machine. <laughs> Kyo. <laughs> Kyo's like the one. <gasps> Jennifer, so good. Also, Taewon. I'm I was like, gonna say, you see her Ariana Grande cover? Oh, no. I wanna love me. Jungkook, he's sung. Keo, JK, wait. Jungkook, he's Kiho, hung. Cleo. <laughs> you make me wanna risk it all. <laughs> Talent red flags, let's talk about it. Filipino and ukulele. Oh. Filipino and dancing. Filipino, Filipino and singing. And singing. Oh. Filipino and breathing. <laughs> Another red flag is um, content creation. Podcast. I would say pageantry is kind of a red flag. Oh, it is. Filipino and basketball. That cancels our entire country out. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's Thanks the end love. of today's podcast. Um, If you want to add me on Pokemon Go, please message me. <laughs> I graduated, so I'm not doing anything right now. <laughs> I'll be updating you guys about the philippines and japan and all yeah. that shit on my tiktok and instagram we're gonna say bye like we normally do in our respective languages <laughs> <laughs> you made me want to risk it up <laughs> have a good day have a good day bitch if you like, think that i'm going on this philippines trip and not trying to be a p-pop idol at the karaoke bars <laughs>